Hey everybody, Crazy Grandma here again. I have another notebook to show you. This one, I, I like this one. May not be for everybody, but this I like. So what I did is I have a lot of Christmas and I have a lot of summer, but the other ones I don't always have a lot of, so I was able to put them all in one notebook. So we have February. And I do have some of the things instead of just Valentine's Day, I'm putting some things in here like um, first dates or, um, you know, first loves and different things like that because you think of Valentine's Day, my granddaughter's got a boyfriend now and when I think of, okay, you got a date, you got a boyfriend, you love him, blah, 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 whatever. Then you, you know, where you look at February. So, that's, so I have some of those things in here. And again, I have, I'll block some of these in my, in my um, description thing down there for you. So I just have anything that reminds me of Valentine's Day, love. I got, I think I even have an anniversary thing in here, but I don't keep, you know, I always have, I also have family thing, a family notebook. And some of the, a couple of things are in there too. So I have things that, you know, separate if I have more than one. We'll see like true story february my next one is of course march so i have saint patrick's day in here oh this <laughs> guys this is my creation i used my heat gun that i have i had it for a long time Matter of fact i think i need to get a new one because it's not getting as hot as it's supposed to be and i took a page protector you know one of the the this ones like this and I took my ruler, and what I did on a uh, cutting board, wooden cutting board that I keep in my in my craft room, and I just made some pockets in one of these things because I had so many of them, and I didn't want to have to keep using a bunch of the different containers, and I couldn't find what I wanted. So I kind of created my own, and you can see here, like there's two here, and I just put a little cut right down there so I can get my finger in and pull them out. This is a this is a separate pocket here and here. So I can customize the size. So far this is the only one I've done, but I'm thinking I like it. I tried other ways, of course. This was not my first. This was my, not my first tip. It was like, okay, you gotta think of something. So that's what I did. So I'm proud of myself. Pat on the back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, April's the next. So, of course, we have Easter, April showers, um, just all kinds of different April things. And when you're thinking of birthdays or whatever, you know, if I have something like I have a sister and, and I also have grandbabies that are born in April. And if I have something specific that I want to use for their birthday, I'll put it in the month I'm going to use it, I think. <laughs> Okay, let me put this one in the right plot. Okay, anyway. Oh, this paper here. This paper here is not where I wanted that. I want that in fall. This is one of the pages that I cut up. You know, it's a piece of scraps that I had. But it reminds me of fall, so I'm going to put that in fall. Then we have May, so we have Mother's Day. So anything. This doesn't necessarily say Mother's Day, but to me it, it screams Mother's Day. So I put some of those in there. And then we have September, which is fall. I'm going to put this in here because it just reminds me of fall. I have quite a few things of fall. So fall, autumn, apple picking, pumpkins, you know, sweater weather, just anything I come up with for, for fall. And then, of course, we have October, which is Halloween. And these are uh, stickers that came off, you know, one of those big 12 by 12 sheets. I don't want to keep the 12 by 12 sheets because I don't think about them being up there with my paper. So I stuck them on one of these things here. They all come off easily. They keep their sticky. See? And it's easy to see. So I did do that. I'm happy with it myself. Anyway, so this is all Halloween. Oh, this is one of those I told you sometimes you can put your things on the outside of. Oh, that's just like this one over here I showed you already. That you can put some on my outside. This was a big sticker. 
I don't know if I'm ever gonna use it, but I put it on the outside here because it didn't block everything that was behind here, but it allowed me to see it and pull it off if I want to use it. So I, I also have some journaling things for Halloween that I put in here because I'm not gonna think about them other places. If it's specifically for a Halloween, Easter, I put it with a season so that I'll remember to have them because I'm not looking at my, my other place, I'm not looking. So this is all Halloween in here. And then I don't have a lot in this book yet of uh, Thanksgiving. I have another notebook that's got some stuff for home that I would use for Thanksgiving. And I think I also have a 12 by 12 sheet up there that may have some Thanksgiving things that I'll put in here. When I get a sticker sheet um, or a book of stickers, I don't necessarily look at what they call it. Let me grab a notebook here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Like this like some of these things. Now this is for girls, of course, but there is, this may be, this is a princess book, so it may not be the best option, but like these things here. If I find one of these things and I don't necessarily think I'm gonna use them all for girl, I'll put them in something else so that I can use it for something else. I don't always look at what somebody else describes it as it's supposed to be. This is an adventure book, but I would not hesitate to put something out of this book. Like my granddaughter has a backpack similar to this. I'll pull that out and use it for school. And like this right here, my these, these camp cameras, my husband's grandfather had cameras like this. So when I do a page for him, I will definitely pull these out and put it on his page. I don't care what somebody else describes it as. I look through it and I pull things out and eventually I will go through these books and if I find anything in them that I would use for something else, I will definitely pull it and put it somewhere else. So guys, I hope this one helps you, gives you some ideas. I'm going to go do, uh, organize another notebook and put some stickers up and I will talk to you guys later. Bye everybody.